welcome to Better Connecticut. I'm there, Kara Sundland. Uh, there is still a glimmer of hope because my oh. nephew lives in South Carolina. Oh, someone <sighs> in South Carolina, well, maybe not, maybe they drove through South Carolina, but this winning ticket of the second biggest jackpot in the history of lotteries has been sold in South Carolina. Yeah, they're saying it's worth $1.537 billion, uh, more than $50 million less than the previous estimated jackpot of $1.6 million. So I guess they just rounded it up for the billboards. Yeah, I don't know. they just ra- I mean, it's, it's still. Who cares? It's, uh, somebody won one winner. Somebody, well, one ticket. One ticket. But who knows? Yeah, we don't know. We don't group. know anything. And the lottery, you can remain anonymous there, and they do encourage you to get your ducks in a row before you come claim the tickets. They have 180 days. Uh, could you imagine? I would though? like to know who it is. I would love to know who it was. I want to know. I uh, know. I think it should be law <laughs> that everybody knows who it is, just so <laughs> they can give me some of that cash. <laughs> right, That's why they don't want exactly. you to know. Exactly. <laughs> Big night in Bean Town last night as the Red Sox win game one of the World Series against the Dodgers. They won pretty big, eight to four. Game two is tonight. Chris Sale started game one of the World Series and only went four innings, but the Red Sox were able to come up with eight runs. Eight runs. Yeah, it wasn't that there close. There was some great right? play. Yeah, there was some. Yeah, but now everyone's going to get free tacos. Everybody get. How, how does this work? Well, now? if you steal a base. Somebody stole a base. This is, yeah, so uh, Mookie, um, Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts. Um, am I saying that right? Mookie Betts, okay? okay. Which means that you get free tacos on November 1st at any Taco Bell between 2 and 6. So this is a tradition of Taco Bell that if someone steals a base it's the during Doritos. the World so- Series, then they can do that. And you get free taco. Doritos Locos Taco. That's the one you get for free. You know what? Anything for free is good. And if the Red Sox keep winning, maybe we'll get more free things, which I think is just wonderful. Wasn't there something like Jordan Furniture? Or someone does something where if they... Win something, you don't pay. <laughs> I don't, I mean, Dunkin' Donuts used to do it as a Patriots one. You get an 87-cent cup of coffee. Okay. But they stopped that promotion. This is the best story of the day. Amazon.com is now offering same-day delivery in the greater Hartford area for prime customers to spend over $35. So you can effectively order something in the morning, and it will be there when you get home. How does that happen? How, how does that happen? How do they do that? They, they do it within two hours in New York City. So just the fact that we're getting same day is... How do they fulfill that? Uh, how do they fulfill so many of those orders? And now they're going to do it in the same day. Like, hey, an order came in. Make sure it's fulfilled by the end of the day. Yeah, so they got have runners. And, uh, yeah, yes, now you have to be what? Amazon Prime? Amazon Prime and spend more than $35, which uh, most people are Amazon Prime. If they're, you want a bag you, of cat litter, it's more than $35. Yeah, you figure out in the morning that you're out of detergent, out of cat litter, out of whatever. You can you just, just order boom. it, and it's going to be there when you get home. That's incredible. Love that is that. really incredible. Love that. And David Schwimmer. He was in the United States. That's why he's off the hook. Because there's a British robber who looks just like Ross from Friends. They're calling him the David Schwimmer lookalike robber. Oh he's my gosh. carrying out a case of beer, in case you're wondering. And doesn't he look just like David Schwimmer? He does a lot, but I think it's not him. I, I don't think it's him. <laughs> Of course, you know, David was in the United States. They, can, they called to I was confirm. Trying to get a closer look. No, All right. No. And you know the pioneer woman, Reed Drummond? Well, she has her very own lookalike Barbie doll. She has worked with uh, Mattel to get all the right little toys. I think there's a cast iron pan and different things with her cooking and her bakeware and this playset can be yours at Walmart. Is know? she that popular? I, I guess, guess she's so. that popular. Yeah, she she's gets, that popular. But I mean, I, I, I realized she was super popular. I didn't realize she'd be so popular among children. She is, uh, our producer saying she is an enterprise. She, yeah. I still want to get the little dish mats that she sells that she told us about when we interviewed her. Oh, okay. She has special mats that dry her dishes and they're cute. Very good. Okay. Oh, and a surprise for Taurus in Thailand. Oh, my God. Look, look and they're at, in the middle of the road. Uh, a herd of wild elephants just walking down the road. Look at the little with babies. The baby ones. The baby. Was there like, hey. Oh, that's we're, amazing. We're going to stop traffic here just for a little bit. We got to get to our destinations. They're going to a trunk show. <laughs> I have the perfect job for you. <laughs> what is it? A tourism company in Finland is hiring elves. Oh. You can go be an elf. Really? You have to have um, very, you have to be cheerful. Cheery, cheerful, okay. It doesn't matter if you're, what height you are. Depends Just on what day you get me. Cheerful. So, yeah. Outgoing. <laughs> outgoing, all right, that I am. And able to spread Christmas cheer in very cold weather. What's the pay? What's the pay? They didn't say, I don't They didn't think. say what the pay is. The job description, yeah. You is, should be paid in Christmas cheer. An elf is at the same time an entertainer, a guide, and a mythical creature 
of Christmas. Oh, you're mythical. Uh, I'm <laughs> mythical, all right. Halloween is one week from today. Can you believe it? No. Well, if the holiday snuck up on you and you still haven't decorated, no worries. We've got you covered. Yeah, Melissa Cole met up with Jen O'Connell at Blaze and Bloom Vintage in West Hartford to get you some ideas you can do in no time on a budget. Take a look. We came to Blaze and Bloom Vintage in West Hartford for some Halloween decorating inspiration. I, I love decorating for Halloween. It is a lot of fun. There, and there's more than pumpkins that you can do um, for Halloween. So, And get yourself to the dollar store because that's what you did. Yes. Uh, the dollar store actually can be your friend and you can find many fun things to do and really quick and easy. So I found these. Uh, these are salad tongs. And I thought, well, yeah, they're cool as salad tongs. <laughs> but just if you stick them in your garden or in, your, in the, your front yard or in your flower box, they just look like the hands, like popping out of the grave, I right? love it. So Isn't it's just a couple of mums in your planter. Yeah. Dollar salad tongs go crazy. Exactly. So just stick them in. And you, look at this. So these headbands, you just rip this off. I figured, how fun would this be if you wanted to just stick those in as well. And some little witch's legs sticking out. Little witch's legs sticking out, just like Who that. Who would have thought? I right? love it. Isn't that fun? And you can just kind of, it looks silly, but it's fun. Cool. So we're going to um, take this pool noodle today and show you how to make uh, fun witch's legs. I love it. It's great that it's orange. It makes it really simple and easy. Um, basically what you're going to do is you're going to bend it in half. They're not too stiff. Okay. You hold that for me like that. And you can just use your scissors and get in there and cut. Don't cut your fingers. Right in half, just right. like that. Two okay. witches' legs. Two witches' legs. So we have our two witches' legs, and the next step is what we're going to do is we are going to get duct tape from the dollar store. Okay. I liked this because it was like a funky green and it was a little reflective. Yeah. And I thought it was really neat. Um, and a quick trick to show you is that what you can do is score your duct tape like this, okay? And you're going to run it along the line of the entire duct tape. And then once you do that, you can it'll get you a smaller stripe. Oh, so you're actually cutting it the width in half. Yeah, so I just cut the width in half, but it will just tear it automatically so that it's a oh, smaller that's... piece of tape. So now you're gonna cut off some strips. Yeah, we're gonna do our strips of tape here that we need, and you kind of guesstimate what you need as a circumference uh, for the tape, and you're just gonna literally wrap the tape right around the noodle. You're gonna try your best to meet it up to the next piece so that it has a nice little, you know, round piece to it. Okay. And eventually what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep going. Continue wrapping tape strips all the way around the noodle to create the look of a witch's leg wearing striped tights. To make the shoe, grab a water bottle. Very carefully pierce into the bottle, or if you can cut into the bottle, which I can, because it's very thin. You're gonna cut about Two thirds of the way back into the bottle. So I'm just making a slice here, okay? This is gonna be like the flap of the shoe. Flap of the shoe, exactly. So then I'm gonna cut upward and toward the point of the shoe, okay? One slice here, coming back over here, and another slice there. Now you can take your label off as well. And you're just going to peel it forward. All so right. if you can see that, it has like that little shoe shape. Absolutely. Okay, and there you are. Next, use black duct tape and cut out pieces to wrap all around the bottle. And I'm just run, going around the front and pinching it so that I can get that pointy look. And I'm going to go around the top again to get that pointy look of the shoe. Like I said, there is really no super duper right or wrong way you can do this. But it's already looking like a yeah, shoe. Yeah, it's already getting to be this shoe shape. And what I'm gonna do really quickly now is I'm just gonna take the tape and leave it on the roll and just kinda roll it all roll the way around. around. Yeah, exactly. To make the buckle, cut a square piece of silver duct tape, place it on the shoe flap. Then cut another slightly smaller square of black tape. And then you're gonna place that back in the center that's perfect. So then you have your buckle. Oh my gosh, love it. All right, we've got our noodle. We've got our shoe, our which shoe, looks yes. amazing. Fabulous. So basically, you're going to take your leg and shove it in your shoe, okay. just as you do at home. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and um, if, it, if the bottle's a little too snug, uh, I'm just doing it on a little bit of an angle here. 
if it's too snug, just slice a little bit in the back. And okay. That way you can get it in there. But you don't even have to put tape or anything on it. It should fit like just like Cinderella. Uh, just like Cinderella. Just like Cinderella. All right, so now you have a cute planter or something. Yeah, a cute planter. You are just going to shove it into the dirt. And okay. if you don't have enough um, space, you can always take a, a wire hanger and stick the wire hanger okay. up. And then way, way you can stick it in the hanger and it'll just kind of hang out like that. Oh my that. gosh, I love it. Yeah. Jen's last idea, again, all from the dollar store, is to create a little table fire pit. Fill a bowl or even an old baking container with bags of rocks, placing a sterno in the middle. To get some color in there and everything, will you dump those in there sure. for me? I'll do one side, you do the other. How pretty is that? Look at that, okay? And so <laughs> then you're just going to take your cap off. Light it up and you're good to go. Fun, inexpensive, took all of one minute to yeah. make that. <laughs> it was really quick. And it would make such a difference on your outdoor yeah, dining experience. Perfect for the fall. Love it. Thanks, Jen. Happy fall. That was really, really and cool. And I love the little fire pit of the sterno because if you're, especially if you're doing outside, like kids could roast some s'mores and th things yeah. for Halloween. Yeah, you know, I know it was an interesting piece because you didn't ask me any questions during it. You listened the whole time. <laughs> Blaze and Bloom Vintage is located at 485 New Park Avenue in West Hartford. The website is blazeandbloom.com. And you didn't do any karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're going to stop down for a commercial right now, but when we return, we're talking about Crafty craft beer. beer. Yeah. Why it's uh, become so popular, how it's made, and why Connecticut may have some of the best brews in the country. You're watching Better Connecticut on this Wednesday afternoon. We'll be right back.